In patients who are awaiting um, heart transplantation, um, there often comes a time where their clinical st status deteriorates to the point where medical support is no longer enough uh, to support them while they're awaiting heart transplantation. And that's when we introduce the idea of mechanical circulatory support. And sometimes we don't have a lot of time. Sometimes patients really take a downturn pretty quickly. So with Rylan, um, not only does her single ventricle anatomy and physiology make implantation of the Berlin heart a little more challenging, but just simply getting to the operating room and putting her under general anesthesia is high risk because the pressure in her lungs is a lot higher uh, than normal. This is the third time she's had open heart surgery, um, but I mean, even going through it this morning, it's, you know, you remember what it was like when we did it the first two times, but every single time is awfully hard. I would say the first challenge that we have is induction of anesthesia, and uh, both the anesthesia team and the surgical team, uh, as well as our perfusion team, uh, are all present um, so that if there is any hemodynamic instability, we're ready to literally get on to bypass uh, in a pinch. And and because Rylan has had prior surgeries before, a reoperative median sternotomy or a redo sternotomy um, is necessary. And so uh, that can be somewhat tricky because there are a lot of adhesions or scar tissue on the inside of uh, the chest. If you've got a scar on the outside, you certainly have scar on the inside. We'll do it on. Okay, let's, uh, let's get a tonsil, please, for Derek. All right, so Derek, can you hold this back oh, this way here? Too Hold this back here. Um, so getting through all the scar tissue uh, with a heart that has very poor function, um, that really is, is what we call a volume-loaded heart that um, with any manipulation, her heart rhythm could deteriorate into some very unstable heart rhythms that also put her, again, at risk of having a cardiac arrest before we even get started. So those are things that um, really keep you on your toes. Um, once we get through the scar tissue, then we're ready to go on bypass. How far you want to cool, Chris? Uh, usually go to 25, but let's try 28 right now. Okay, okay so I've got a little more dissection to do. We've got to get the IVC in. 